Okay, so we're at my desk again. Hello. <laughs> and let's go. I'm not my desk, my dresser. And the top drawer is for shadows. So I'm really thinking lavender. Um, I know that I pulled this thing out before. And it had that real, those really pretty lavender shades and then those pinky shades. And I think I could create a really cute look with this palette. But let's do a quick look on other things that may have some lavender in them. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't think this one just because it's not like the right. I don't know if you can tell the difference between those two purples. There is, there is a difference. A little bit of one. It also has that lighter purple in there, so oh, I'll take that one out. I don't know if it's in sultry. I don't remember. Definitely not. Okay. Ooh. Those are bright summer shades and oh that Mediterranean one. Ooh, yes. But no, not that. And then Clover palette. Let's see. Hmm. Not any of them are bright enough. Okay. Um, that's a neutral palette. That's no. I don't think any of those ones. Oh, 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 oh. This one will be a good one too. Just because look at those. Hmm. Okay, yummy. I can probably do a look with both of these. I don't know, what do you think? That foreplay one is more of like the pinky that I'm looking for. This one right here for my purple look. What if I do Those two? Oh no. I kind of just want to use the jawbreaker, but I also want to use this palette too. Maybe I'll just combine the two. Let's combine the two. Let's do. Um, I really love this palette too, though. Do I have anything that is in that range. I can't remember what's in here. It's a summer palette. Look at those greens. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I have to do a green look with this palette. And I have to do a green look with this other palette during the summer with the Tribe. I think I'm gonna mix, but I wanna bring in the foreplay one. Bring in foreplay and then use this palette. Oops. <laughs> I went to read it and hit the camera. That's Lady Flower. Oh, that might be a good option. And then I have this Orchid Gloss. Hmm. I really love Lady Flower. You know what? I'm going to go with Lady Flower because it's a touch more pink. And I think that might like offset the coolness of my eye look, maybe. And then I could always put this on top if it's... We'll see. I think I will do... Uh, Urban Decay and Lady Flower. I love this shade. It's like my perfect pink shade for me. Okay, we're gonna do that. So I have to look over to the side um, because I want better quality. And uh, so I have no room for my laptop up here. So I put it over to the side. So we are gonna do, we're gonna react to New Burger King Garlic, New Burger King, Garlic King, and Dairy Queen. So she goes to, okay, so in a video she clearly stated that um, she was not going to be going eating out anymore, that now that she is living with Pete's, you know, they're going to be making homemade food. And as you can see, I've only watched a couple of them. 
but majority of the stuff that she's had here, she's gone through massive um, fast food binges, as you can see, and a lot of them. And uh, even after she said she wasn't going to do it because one of the workers at McDonald's had the, corona, the big C word that we're not supposed to say on YouTube. So she's go she goes through cycles. So she goes through cycles where she does massive binges, gains a lot of weight, feels sorry for herself, and then um, goes on this big, huge weight loss journey, even though it's not a good one to be in. New Burger King, Garlic King, and Dairy Queen. But the only reason why I chose this is because uh, something the title said something about a moment of weakness. So I wonder if that includes BB. Oh, I'm turning it down. Hello, sweetie beauties. <laughs> Hi, BBJ. You look cozy. Yeah. I washed my hands, by the Aren't way. Aren't you, BBJ? Yes. Because I knew I was going to put in my contacts. <laughs> I just missed getting it on film, but <sighs> these birds all came and sat on you should have seen the cats. <laughs> you know that chit chatter thing they do when they go, eh, 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 eh,
her not being with BB? No. <gasps> she messaged BB. Okay, so I still talk to my husband, but a lot of the time it's just a bitch at him because he's not doing something he should be doing. Um, but, you know, if she's saying this is a moment of weakness in messaging him, sorry, I'm trying to find, I thought I had another thing of, eye cream in here. I don't want to open this up unless I can't find it. It might be in my nightstand. I'll just use this. This is the con is that? <sighs> Do you want to know where it went? Here's me. There's the floor. Where'd it go? Right there. Right there. Oh, there goes my tea. I'm almost ready for my new cup of tea. So, all right, try this again using context. <laughs> Vitamin C all day cream. If it's a day cream, then I'm assuming it's not the tightening one. Probably just moisturizing. Okay, now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. jelly pop. I love this. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Been my day. That time it was the lid to my jelly pop. Okay, so, okay, moment of weakness. She contacted BB. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Starting to lose my double chin again. Ugh. When I gain weight, it goes here. So I start getting a double chin. Well, me losing six pounds brought it, the chin down quite a bit. Thank God. So help me out, guys. Help me out because I'm going to, I've got to lose weight. Not like I'm not trying to lose weight and get all gussied up and pretty to look nice for my husband because it, he's done. He's over it. Um, and I can't say or do anything to get him to change his mind. So. Um, I just kind of just relinquish the fact that he wants to have a single life and oh well on him. <sighs> um, so yeah, um, anyway, and I also, um, when my house sells, I would like to get my teeth fixed. I have an adult tooth right here, a canine that's completely missing, and I have a molar back here that's missing as well. Um, I was told from my old dentist that they were completely missing, and Lissa has two, her lateral incisors are completely missing, they're not even up. My teeth cleaned uh, right before this whole corona thing totally went bonkers. Um, that was when the toilet paper was just starting to be bought up, but anyway. Um, they did a scan and they said, you know, your adult teeth are still up there. So now I would like to go see an orthodontist and have them cut and brought down and then straighten out my teeth. But I can't do that until my house sells. So pray my house sells so that way I have extra money to get my daughter's teeth fixed, have money to uh, send her to on her foreign exchange year. Um, yeah, I would like to, there's lots of things I would like to do. Um, this house is eventually going to be mine, um, so I want to pay for a new roof, pay off the the mortgage, you know, that uh, lots of different things I would like to do. So, um, yeah, let's just go on because otherwise we'll be talking forever. So you want to be friends with benefits? She, she did not. Okay. I've always said that her and Pete's have a better relationship than her and BB. The fact that she's messaging BB and asking him if he wanted to be friends with benefits is kind of a smack towards Pete's, if you think about it. 
She's living with the guy. She could ask him to be friends with benefits. But yet she asks her ex that she just broke up with to be friends with benefits. Like, what the hell? That's just, that's just, this whole thing's just very bizarre. Just absolutely bizarre. Bizarre. Like, like, basically, we came to the uh, conclusion that that could be messy. Uh, yeah. And probably not the best idea. I don't have much foundation left, so I'm just gonna put on enough to just color correct, I guess. You messaged me yesterday. Um, who's gonna come see the place maybe next week? Come over for dinner? That's awkward. BB, no, come. Still gonna be friends. No, but. but. Go over for dinner when you have two exes in the same. under like, the same roof? Okay, you guys notice that when she when she was with BB, um, Pete's would never be at the house. All of their mukbangs and everything that they did was all out of the house. Everything that they did was either in a car or in a restaurant. BB or Pete's never came to the house. Not with BB. So why is it all of a sudden okay for BB? to go over when Pete, it's Pete's house. Cause there must have been something going on for him not to go over to the house to have dinners or mukbangs or whatever with Chantal prior to them breaking up. Does anybody have any guesses or answers or anything like that? I mean, I'm just confused. It just seems really weird to me. I really need another one. Anyway, it just seems really weird to me. The whole, the, the, that's just weird. I mean, it literally just came to me that every time she was with Pete's, he never was in her house. Never. But now BB is going to be over at her and Pete's house for dinner because they're still going to be friends. That's weird. If they were friends to begin with, they would have done things together. You would have seen those in videos, but no, you only see Chantal and Pete's or Chantal and Bibi. Never together. Mm. Okay, let's go on. Can you handle being And the overall answer is yes. I mean, like I've said, it's just that this is new to me and so strange but I am liking it more every day yeah but it, okay mm -hmm. I'm so confused I'm so confused I'm so confused and, um, okay so she says she's liking it more and more every day but then she has a moment of weakness and contacts BB I'm 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 just so confused I'm so confused oh my gosh how could you just be happy with it but yet have a moment of weakness and ask him if he'd be willing to be have, be friends with benefits and that got shot down I don't know I think he's like girl you crazy <laughs> it's probably what he said and but yet she's saying that they're being amicable and all that stuff but whatever because everything is just strange right now yeah but Pete's is familiar Pete's is familiar yeah. Ooh, this is kind of minty. The Skin Iceland Berry Lip Fix. It's minty. It feels good. I'm trying to use up this uh, Chocolate Soleil, this little sample size, because I have another one. Okay, I'm going to go into the Mini Jawbreaker Palette, and I'm going to go into Foreplay, this Wood Reach Heal. No, well, yeah, I do know. I do know what she's going through. To be honest, you know, who doesn't miss that part? Okay, I'm gonna use like a really flush, fluffy, flushy, fluffy brush, and then go down. Now she wants ice cream.
peanut buster parfait from Dairy Queen. My bed sucks. So does mine. I need a new one. It's not my bed at home. I give it to my grandma. She likes firmer beds. She's gonna say, oh yeah, Grandma, I love you. Have my crappy bed. Incredibly comfortable. I'm gonna go into this shade right here with a more denser blending brush. Yeah, I don't believe that. Don't face it. We all go to Dairy Queen for a treat here and there. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to try real hard not to snap. That's the key. I, I haven't been uh, successful. <laughs> okay, I am going to go... I need a black black brush right here. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one, put it on the inner corner, and then I'm gonna fade it out to this. Or not the inner corner, the inner portion of the lay. I'm thinking like, was in my room, like had a bath in my tub. My daughter's in the bathroom singing. She's singing Disney. Ooh, this is pretty sparkly. I did not think it was going to be this sparkly. We need to go to the house and we need to get my daughter's keyboard. Uh, she's probably dying not playing that all the time. I'm dying not hearing her play it all the time. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in with my finger and then tap it on as well to see if I can get that to... Oh yeah, that worked. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the darker purple. And put it on this other, th this one third of the eyeshadow. And then blend it out into the pink here. Who needs to listen to Chantal when you've got a beautiful daughter in the next room singing? Just saying. I'm more entertained by my daughter singing. Okay, back into this pink. I'm gonna dab that on the outer portion and then blend that into that purple. I'm like, Sam was laying on the mat. I'm not putting anything else on here, I'm just going. But Like, I think like self-pampering like that and then keeping busy. Mm-hmm. Self-pampering, doing your makeup just for no reason because I'm not um, going anywhere. Maybe I might go to the house to get my daughter's keyboard. Like the same color, um, that same pink. I'm going to run that down the lower lash line. So, so 
for 70k subscribers. I'm kind of. Doing like that seafood boil, which I've never done in my life. I love seafood boils. Okay. Mm. All right. So expensive. Actually, I'm gonna go into this Julep liner, and this is in the color wow. uh, Violet oh, Ultra Violet. I'm gonna put this in the waterline. <laughs> You know, tasty, so I'm like, I'm like not even listening to her anymore. I'm like over it. I bought a broom today. Exciting. No, have you like secretly eat fast food? I'm in my kitchen. That's a lot of food. What? 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 Okay, so you're going to do intermittent fasting, eat fast food, and say that that's the only thing that's going to work for me right now. Having attitude like that, you're never going to lose weight. Has intermittent fasting worked for you in the past? I don't think so. I don't remember her having any success in it. So I'm actually going to use my pinky and I'm going to go into this white shade and put this on the inner corner. Whoa, that is Sparkle Town. If you want something sparkly, here's Sparkle Town for you. Holy cow, there's like flecks of stuff. Okay, close my eyes and kind of dust that away. Okay, that looks better now that <laughs> there was literally like big flakies in there. So, yeah. Wow, I'm sparkly today. Dang. Changing your ways and eating good. Yeah. Okay, so that was boring for one. I just didn't want to, I don't know, you know, like I like reacting to her, but I also get so mad at, you know, her choices when it comes to losing weight and all that stuff. She says, oh, well, I'm not going to go eat out anymore because somebody was just just came out with having the big C and uh, so I'm not going to go to McDonald's anymore because I and then oh and she lied about it too she's like oh I haven't been there in a long time um, but she has videos of her going there eating McDonald's and I'm sure there's lots of locations but still when she flat out says well I haven't been to McDonald's in forever I think I'm gonna stop eating out because I don't want there to be a chance of me getting sick 
which is valid, very valid, but it, I don't know. She, she drives me nuts half the time. Anyway, I am going to go into these magnetic lashes. Um, last time there was um, stuff frayed out. I went in and I actually cut down those frays. So that way they're not going to be making a mess on my eye. But, you know, Kiss now has one. And I'm putting an extra big band on just to make sure that it all stays on my lid. And it says to do it when it's still kind of tacky. Whereas the kiss ones say not to do it that way. But we go. One is done. Okay, the lashes are on. Here we are with the final look. What do you guys think? I'll get a little bit closer. And my lipstick is Urban Decay in Lady Flower. And then I have Buxom in Wild Orchid over the top. I created this. Pretty. I'm digging it so let's kind of turn you a little bit more to the light so let me know what you guys think about this look and I will see you guys in my next video whenever that will be bye